Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Big update for the Aussie traders on SwiftX. Eight new assets that we can trade, cryptocurrencies. Going to get into those, we're going to look at the charts on them quickly. This is an impromptu video that I put together because I talked to the guys and they said there's some coins coming out. Three of them are ones that we've been looking at a lot and people have been asking, where can I trade this in Australia? And this is where we can trade them, SwiftX. So if you want to link to this, get your $10 of free Bitcoin. Referral link is down below in the description. Go ahead, use that link. It's the fastest platform to get set up on. So if you do want to trade cryptocurrencies, a huge variety of them, link is in the description. SwiftX, uh, new assets. Let's have a quick look at these. So we have Fala, Staffy, Digo, Dego, <laughs> Dego Finance. Lit Entry is one of the ones we've been looking at. Perpetual Protocol. Ramp is another one, which is a, a newbie that we've been looking at, or at least I mentioned it just briefly, probably in the last video. TVK is the big one. And I should have an interview with these guys coming up there, the CTO, possibly next week. I'll be filming it and hopefully I'll get it out the week after that. So if you've got questions about TVK, let me know. I will put a post out on YouTube and on Twitter on the community posts and you guys can leave your comments about TVK. Uh, last one there is Alice as well. So two, four, six, eight new cryptos to trade on SwiftX. Super easy. I'm going to look at the charts in just a sec. Drop down this side thing here if you're looking at it on mobile. Uh, you've got a mobile app for SwiftX as well if you guys didn't know. Easy to transfer money to. Very quick withdrawals. I've tested that out so uh, quite a few times now. It's so quick. I can't believe that they can action that so quickly. But they do and it's done. Go to trade. Then we go to buy, or we can actually just click them over here, but this is a, a nice simple way to do it for all of them. Go to buy, then just search the asset. So what are we looking for? One of them was ramp. I haven't searched this yet, so this is the first time I'm doing it. Ramp, here we go. Pops up, excellent. Okay, that's all working. This is our demo account. We'll go into this portfolio later, but ideally uh, we're just gonna look at the charts today. And I just wanted to mention these. Okay, Ramp, TVK, very excited about, and Litten Tree when that comes down. So I've got TVK opened at the moment. TVK, I, I think this still needs a little bit of time to settle, but I like these levels as dollar cost averaging in. So that's how I like to build my positions. I like the accumulation stage and I like a distribution stage. So it's like a dollar cost averaging in at particular levels. I don't like to dollar cost average in when these things are spiking, but I do like to dollar cost average in when they are falling and they're starting to come to some sort of basing. Possibly we're still gonna see around that 58, 60 cent level. You can just see that there was a lot of traffic back here in early March before we started to, to pump from uh, this 50 cent level. So potentially we come back to this level. I, we don't wanna see it break down beneath this 40 cent level. So I'm gonna put a, an alert back here and then another alert uh, just on my 23% there. So around that 50 or so cent level. Okay, so that's TVK. It's good to know that it's on uh, SwiftX now because I think before we were looking at this on Binance, if you haven't seen already, funds are safe. Ooh. Okay, so uh, now we've got that option for just one exchange which has TVK. TVK, that's the, the US dollar or at least Binance USD, similar pricing. TVK BTC, nice basing out here against Bitcoin value, high volume on this spike out. So it's not ready yet. That's what that is telling me. But we're getting a lot of closes at the same level at around this 1300 uh, Satoshi level sitting comfortably on our 61% retracement or 31, 38% from the ground up. So it's starting to form a little base here on the Bitcoin chart. Should mention at the beginning, thank you very much. 100,000 subscribers. I uh, can't believe we got there, but I just want to say a quick thank you in this video. Like the video if you find some value from it. It's helped out tremendously to push the content in the YouTube algorithm, especially when we're playing with a lot of the Moon Boys out in overseas territory, the US, a lot of Moon Boy titles out there, and we're playing a big game against them. So like up the video, helps out the channel a lot. Comment below, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. Make sure you're getting here before the scammers, before they can start scrolling through the comments and putting all their scam comments everywhere. There is only one of my channels and it is the one that is 100,000 subscribers, gray background, similar background to this when you see my name in the comments. Next one we'll have a quick look at is Ramp, Ramp BTC. <laughs> Not much data here. So this is brand new, brand new into the trading space. This is on Binance. It was or has been traded on uh, Uniswap and that's PPay, Ramp wrapped 
ETH. So that's what it is. Ramp W ETH is wrapped ETH, which you can trade on Uniswap. Huge spike volume. This was uh, when it was listed on Binance just a few days ago, but it's had a pretty decent run up. Uh, that's just some old data up here. So move this across. That's what we have here. So it has had a solid move from these lows in January to that peak, somewhere around the 1400%. Currently sitting around 700% from those lows. What I'm looking at here are support and resistance levels, as always, on our daily chart. Horizontal, there are the tops. Top, top, break out of the top, retest the top. This is a, a crazy long number, so you can see it there. <laughs> That's pretty much where I'm looking for some sort of support. And if we throw our Fib on it, which we use in every single video, low to the high, crossed through 50%, sitting on our 38 or 61 from the top down. This 23 lines up with that. And for new projects with very small market caps, they do tend to drop this 70 to 80% uh, from their highs. And that's why this 23% works quite well, lines up with all of these other highs back here. So that is for the small caps. Not necessarily looking at it for the, the huge Bitcoins and Ethereums, but this is, this is probably where I'm looking at for some sort of support before we accumulate again. We break down into these levels, shows over for some time, but uh, this is where I'm liking the look of it. So I'm gonna put an alert underneath this low, and then that's ramp for us. We've looked at ramp uh, on uh, Ethereum, ramp on Bitcoin, ramp USD. We only got a few days of data here, so no use to us right now. Last one on our asset list. We've seen TBK, we've seen ramp. I wanna see lit, lit entry. You guys might get a video under 15 minutes. Usually my videos are all 20 to 30 minutes lately. 5% up for the day. We got a little bit of a low here forming on our 38% and we are bouncing around these levels. So that's, I'm using this level because uh, this looks like just a, a random spike bar when it was listed. If we happen to use this low, then we're getting a nice 50% support. Double bottom on this 50% 50, uh, 50 support. So it's looking pretty neat. Probably not a bad area. And I think I'm gonna put lit on my buy list now. This was on the list from the previous video. Lit, I did not have in here. Stalking, waiting. It was definitely one on my list. So lit, and I like it because we're on the 50%. It's gone a little bit quiet. There was some hype on some of the bigger YouTube channels like Coin Bureau, you know, it's up around five, 600,000. We're a small channel here at 100,000. Crazy that. Um, but yeah, I think that hype has died off. So I'm a little more, I like this a little more than when the hype is going on. So uh, $8.50, not too bad. Lit against its BTC value at around 16,000 Satoshis. Look at that, nice accumulation zone. Obviously the breakdown beneath these lows is the get out point. So low here, low here, low here, another low here. Breaks down, obviously weak but in here looks like solid accumulation. Looks like we tried once to break out, not ready yet. So accumulating in this zone, good dollar cost averaging in area. And now we can see it and get it on SwiftX. So there, there are the coins there. Quick update while we're here. Ethereum, 1600. Again, sideways action. Looks like we're getting a nice, a nice movement right through these levels. And we've been watching this. We are looking at this for a five to 11 weak sideways pattern underneath the high based on data that we saw through September and October. That's going to plan. And Bitcoin, quick recap, we're at 52,300. Looking pretty sweet. If you wanna understand what we we're doing here, go back to yesterday's video, huge learning lessons in that video. So definitely go check that out. Last thing we'll look at before we head off, SwiftX, look at that. Let's uh, look at the coin market caps. The market caps for these three coins that we just looked at. Lit and Tree. Lit is our first coin that I've got here. Market rank 200. Market cap 157 million. This is looking good. We were keen on projects under 100 million. We're just over it now. So probably still a good area to look at. Obviously be wary of the fully diluted market cap. This is not like a long-term hold yet until you understand the tokenomics of the project. There is a lot of coins that aren't on the market and they can just be dumped and dump the price. So really pay attention to that, understand what's going on there. Lit, 157 million. Next coin we were looking at was Ramp. 
believe ramp is around 50 or 80 million, so 57 cents. No, market cap 130, call it 132 million, fully diluted 573 million. Ramp is ramping up. Last market cap, so we're still in those those one to 200 million market caps. Ramp, uh, the next one we had on our list was TVK. So TVK has had a pullback. That is going to do us well in the market cap. 70 cents market cap. Oh, again, 157 million. Okay, so all of these are between that 100 and 200 million, sitting comfortably around that 150 million. So can they be 5Xs? I think so. I think we can get these things to that 750 to $900 million area. 10Xs, now we're talking 1.5 billions. 1.5 billions to 2 billions. So think about that if you are planning on holding these things extremely long term. Can they get there? TBK, I think it has a potential. Let me know in the comments, well, in particular, comments and Twitter. Go across there uh, to that to Twitter, to my Twitter account, which is linked in the description, because I have a interview coming up with the CTO of TVK. All right, so if you've got questions about the company, let us know. In particular, anything to do with those tokenomics, can they scale, what big projects that they have coming up on their timelines, which they can disclose, all that sort of stuff is going to help us out to understand that project a bit better, to see if it's a better long-term hold than some of the others out there in the NFT space, that's where uh, Terra Virtua Collect is. All right, guys, thank you very much. If you found some value from the quickest video I've put out in the last two months, let me know. Hit that like button down below. Let's get this video pumping. Come on, 2,000, 3,000 likes, get it up there. It goes a long way to helping out the channel. Subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hit that bell notification icon, get here before the scammers do. Thank you very much for joining me and putting up with my young daughter screaming in the background. She's getting to that age where she's just going to go for gold when she starts to learn how to talk. So she's just going to be screaming. We've got to move house. That's what's going to come up this year at some point. Let's move to a bigger place so you don't get the screaming baby in the background. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. I'll catch you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.